Hi guys, it's me, Legend of Old. 101 has returned. <laughs> As you can see. Yes. <laughs> the infamous Wonder Rosa picture. <laughs> With the chicks. Yeah. Research who that is, who she has. In her finishing move. The fire on the driver, of course. She's fire too. But we ain't here to talk about that. I'm just gonna say it. Channel to use this video on the rules of stay positive. Press up with Tony Khan. Uh, so this bad press around you, man. Hey, Wonder, I'm a big support of yours. Stay positive. Stay safe. Just heal up, return, and uh, keep positive vibes going, man. Hey, just uh, don't worry about what the haters are saying. Don't worry about the haters. Do not worry about the haters. But we're gonna get into what Tony Khan recently just said, yo. Tony Khan gives blunt response to why Thunder Rosa and CM Punk do not get equal AEW promo time. It's been making the rounds, guys. Everyone in the wrestling community is talking about this. Tony Khan blatantly said CM Punk deserves more promo time than Thunder Rosa. Okay, let's break this down right now. Let's break this down. CM Punk is CM Punk. We know this. He is. As Sammy Cannon would say, the draw, you know, I am the draw, you know, everyone knows this, that's why he's there, that's why Tony Khan snatched him up, but hey, Thunder Rosa is a draw too, um, woman's champion at the time, never gave her hardly any promo time at all, the same this stuff with CM Punk and Thunder Rosa, but that's irrelevant. CM Punk stuff. That's that's another. That's that's irrelevant. Thunder Rosa in general, just her game with hardly any promo time. <laughs> Baker, the literally just going, have no titles, have no feuds going on, just walk into an arena, and just talk, just talk. It could be about anything. About anything. She's just talking and she's, and she's throwing shots at Thunder Rose the whole time. The sandbagging incident for giving her a sandbag. I was like, what? I was like that, 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 that to the cake. That to the cake. I did not like that. That story, I did not like it at all. I didn't like it. You should not be bringing stuff like that, a sandbagging incident, into a storyline for a few. No. No. That's looking at the person about sandbagging is. A terrible way to start, you know, to keep a few going or start a few. It's just like that's that's nothing to do with storyline. You can't put it into a storyline because it breaks kayfabe as well. So it's just like it's just it's just, it's just kind of productive. That kind of thing with somebody that's kind of productive. You, should, you don't do that. You don't do that. Um, I feel for Thunder Rosa. Poor Thunder Rosa. I feel for this woman because this woman has she tries hard. She always tries to improve, she's always helping people, she's got her own company, she's trying to help people coming up, disenfranchised people, <laughs> she has a lot of charity work, on her own free time as well, by the way, um, she doesn't brag about any stuff like that, she doesn't do nothing like that, it's not like a John Cena way for what you know what I'm saying, where do you make a wish for five minutes, just because Dobry told them to, um, but, yeah, this woman should be treasured. She's very charismatic. Very charismatic. Anyone seen her? Her um, Lucha Underground stuff. Very charismatic. Um, even the indie stuff. Very good. Very passionate poor because she's a very tough shooter. The only thing I'd say for Thunder to improve on in her mic skills is her speed. She's uh, she's very she talks very fast, just like Hyde. I talk very fast, and I've had to learn to slow my speech down <laughs> because I automatically think that everybody else understands me when I speak that fast. She goes, oh, no, 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 no. she speaks very quick because of her her heritage, but um, it's just natural to kind of read off words. I have to kind of read off words. That's just my culture. Um, but to talk very quick. But yeah, but it's, it's very something very minor that she could easily fix to kind of engage when you're talking to someone. Brit, 
I hear you talking about me. Just this, this kind of slow, increase your cadence, just kind of slowing speech down, get your point across, and then towards the end, you probably can maybe could speed up a bit more, like go, go native with it. But um, that's something that she needs to improve or to work on. She, she has to do it to work on it. It's like people say, you know, um, we can't give you the job because you have no work experience. Obviously, because we haven't got, I haven't got any work experience, well, no one's given me a chance to do it. It's that kind of thing. It's that it's kind of thing. Um, yeah, you're not very good at promos, but we haven't given you any promo time to improve on it. But yeah, Tony Khan, that was, that was terrible. Tony Khan is... <sighs> Tony Khan, bro. But anyways, let's read this, let's read this, you know. I mean, I've been talking way too much about this. Let's, let's get into the article. I'm reading from WrestleInc.com. So, in the past few months, CM Punk and Thunder Rosa both went down with injuries during their reigns as AEW World Champion and Women's World Champion. Respectively, but while Punk announced his injury in the ring on AEW Rampage, Receiving around 8 minutes to cut a promo in person, Rose was given less than a minute in backstage interview with Tony Schiavone uh, on an episode of AEW Dynamite. Which is ridiculous. <laughs> wow. Um, when asked about the disparity, AEW CEO Tony Khan was about, about the difference in time Punk and Rosa got when announcing their injuries. Okay, so this is what he has to say. So I give the TV time based on what I believe is going to draw the most ratings. <sighs> wow. Off the bat, he out here saying, Rosa don't draw, she's not a draw. Khan said in an all out 2022 20, media call. So it's a media call. For my honest opinion on an 8 minute Thunder Rosa promo versus an 8 minute CM Punk promo. You're going to get an honest answer, and I think the 8 minute CM Punk promo is probably going to do a better rating. To come out and do a live 8 minute promo, I'm not sure what, not sure that would have been good for television to show, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, so uh, I'll stop there, because that's literally where it ends anyways, on that article. So yeah, Tony Khan's basically saying, Rosa promos are weak, weak. He's saying they're trash. That's what he's basically saying. He's saying, oh, you got bro. Compared to a CM Punk promo, to, to, to be honest, CM Punk has not been hitting lately, to be honest. I've, I've, I've been honest here. CM Punk is not the best promo guy in that company. MJF is. And this guy's been missing for months now. Um, What the heck is MJF? What the heck? Is, this guy can only save this company. Where is he? The savior of this company is missing. What? Tony Khan would not do it. Um, he says CM Punk to draw, MGF is to draw, I'm not CM Punk. Um, so, yeah, what the heck is going on, this is, this is ridiculous, but, um, yeah, just that reading that article right there. <sighs> he had no faith in Thunder Rosa ever, he just gave her a title to keep her quiet, he had no faith in this woman whatsoever. Britt Baker won that, that Owen Cup, yeah, the, the Owen Hart Cup. And when that tight gave her a belt, her and Adam Cole, was, she basically presided over everything in that division. She was the focal point of that division with that oh, hard cut title. It meant more than the world championship. But the <laughs> what the heck? The problems with that in itself. Brit is the golden girl, we know this. Brit is the Charlotte Flair of this woman's division. This woman has terrorized this entire division, bro. No one could get past this woman. This woman is a roadblock that has to be run over immediately, rested in um, storyline terms. Um, <laughs> but yeah, obviously not real life, just in storyline terms. She has to be stopped. Behind the scenes, she has to be stopped. On TV, she has to be stopped. Thunder Rosa should have a clear path, have a clear path when she won that belt. Who's she gonna face? What feud she gonna have? She had this woman had no feuds. Thunder Rosa had no feud, bro. This woman had no feud. She had Serena Deeb. She even then it was just kind of like the, the main feud she had was Britt Baker. That was it. The main feud she had was Britt Baker. So she had a little mini feud with them. Um, Mercedes Martinez, I don't even call that a feud. That was like a, a friendly rivalry. 
Um, so technically, the only feat she really had was Britt Baker, and that was it, the, her entire title reign. Um, so yeah, um, not much for me to say about this. Thunder, I love ya. Get better, and see you soon. Peace.